all variables and all array elements listed to the right of the comma here in an fprintf statement will, will be displayed on the screen. If there are more variables or array elements than formatting commands, the formatting commands will be recycled until every single variable and array element is printed on the screen. So in this example here, we have score and it has four values, four array elements. It's a one by four array. And if we say score on the right side over here, we are going to print off every single value in score, regardless of the number of formatting commands inside the single quotes. So let's try to execute this fprintf command. We say score is percent %i. This is the first time we've seen a percent. So the first item in score is inserted in here. So 60 is inserted into this location. And percent %i. This is the second time that we've seen a percent. So the second element in score, which is 70, is inserted here. We say slash n and we come to the end of the single quotes. We still have two more elements in score to print off, so we go back up to the beginning. Score is percent %i, the third time we've seen a percent, which is now associated with the third element of score, so 90 is printed, and percent %i, the fourth time we've seen a percent, so we look at the fourth element of score. We say slash n, go to the next line, we come to the end of the single quotes, we have successfully printed off everything to the right side of the comma, and so we are done. Array elements are displayed in column order. All of the array elements will be displayed, but it's always in column order. So let's look at an array B. It's a three by two. It has three rows and two columns. If we try to print off B in a, in this manner, on the left side over here, we're going to get a very strange answer. So let's see what happens. If we say percent %i and percent %i slash n, the first two elements of b will be printed off. But, at, but as I've said earlier, we're going in column order now, so 2, then 2 will be printed off. So 2, then 2. Slash n, we come to the end of the single quote, we have four more elements in B to print off, so we go back up to the beginning. Percent %i, percent %i. So we continuing on downward our column, we get three. We're done with this column, we go up to the next column, negative one. Three, negative one. Slash n, we go down to the next line. We come to the end of the single quote, and we still have two more items in B to print off. We go back up to the beginning of the formatting commands percent %i, percent %i. The last two elements of B are printed off 0 and 0. So 0 and 0. But let's see what happens if we print off the transpose of B. We say percent %i, percent %i. As I said earlier, we print off in column order. So 2, then negative 1. 2, then negative 1 slash n, new line. We come to the single quote, and we still have four more items to display in B transpose. Go back up to the top. Next, over here, we go back to the beginning, so it's percent %i, percent %i. We're done with this column in B prime, so we go to the next column, 2, 0, 2, 0, slash n, new line. Single quote, we come to the end of the formatting commands, but we still have two more elements in B prime to print out. So we go back up to the beginning. Percent %i, percent %i. We're done with this column here in B prime. We go to the top of, of the next one. 3, then 0. 3, 0. Slash n, new line, but we're done. We come to the single quote. We're done. We have no more elements in B to print off. So the lesson that you want to take from this is that, again, array elements are displayed in column order. And if you want to display the contents of B in, in the type of format that we're sort of used to, like we see here, and we see here, 
you want to display the transpose of that array. So let's look at the following example. We're going to say x is an array that goes from 0 to 5 in step sizes of 1. y is just the values in x times 2. And then we're going to display x with this format right here. So if we run the code, we get the following. x has the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a 1 by 6 array. y also is a 1 by 6 array, having doubled the, the, each element being doubled the similar element in x. So here's the type of format that we're going to be using for using fprintf. Three, uh, percent three i and percent three i and then new line. So as I said earlier, if we put an array here x, every single element will be displayed, and these formatting commands will be recycled over and over until all the elements of x have been displayed. So what are the values of x? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, uh, and five. So we say percent. 3i percent 3i. So what are the first two values of x? 0 and 1. So 0 and 1 are printed to the screen. Then we say new line and we come to the single quote. We have not printed off all the values of x yet so we go back up to the beginning and recycle these commands. Percent 3i percent 3i. What are the next two values of x? 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 are printed off. Slash n, go back to the beginning and again, percent 3i, percent 3i, what are the last two values of x? 4 and 5. If we said x here, and we also said comma y, and now we run the code, we see that first the values of x are printed off, and then the values of y. If we change the formatting command, let's add a per, uh, another percent three i. We see that three items are printed per line. The first three values of x, then the last three values of x. The first three values of y, then the last three values of y. If we want to display the values of x and y in a nice sort of table format where one column are the values of x and the second column are the values of y, we can do that in the following manner. We can make a table which I'll call table xy and we'll have the first row being the values of x and the second row being the values of y. And instead of printing off x and y we can try printing off table xy and I got rid of the percent 3i, the last percent 3i, because we only want two columns. Let's see what happens. We have table xy being like this, and we see because it prints off in column order, it will print off into a nice column. So let's see what happens. Percent 3, so we have table xy. This is what table xy looks like. 2 by f uh, 6 array, percent 3i, percent 3i. So remember it prints off in column order, so 0, then 0. So 0 and then 0 printed off, we go down to the next line. We recycle these commands, and we're done with this column in table xy, so we go up to the next column. 1, then 2 are printed off. 1, 2. We go to the next line, and then we reach the end of the single quote which means we go back to the beginning because we have not printed off all the values of table xy yet. So 2 and 4 then printed, then 3, 6, 4, 8, 5, 10. What happens if we accidentally mess up and say we keep that old percent 3i that we got rid of earlier? All the values will still be printed off to the screen but probably not in the way that we wanted. So let's see what happened. Percent 3i, percent 3i, percent 3i. So we come to table xy. What are the three first three values of table xy? There's 0, 0, and 1. So 0, 0, 1 are printed off. New line. Go down to the next line here. 
we're at the end of our single quote, which means that we go back up to the beginning because we still have nine more elements of table x, y to display. What are the next three elements? Two, two, and four. Two, two, and four. And we keep we then print off three, six, four, three, six, four, eight, five, ten. So it's always very, very important to remember that when you're dealing with any kind of array, that it always prints off in column order.